Hi, I'm Brad Brown with the IHSA. I'm out here at a project today where they're doing some work along the side of the road. Now when we look at injuries that happen to workers on construction projects, a lot of them happen when workers work along the side of the road or they work with equipment. So when we look at setting up traffic protection and traffic control plans for the workers in the work area, and we want to make sure that it does three really key things. It allows the workers to work safely and that they're protected from vehicles and equipment, that it allows the motorists to pass through safely, and to make sure that the motorists can keep moving so that they can still flow through the area. These are kind of the three really key aspects. And then we also want to make sure that it still affords us the ability to get our job done. We still have to have that constructability element where we can actually proceed and do our work. Well, the site that we're looking at and the site that we're working at today, we see that they've actually chosen the right layout from book seven and they're using it appropriately and what book seven helps us to do is to comply with the law where it says that we have to use as many devices as necessary for the protection of the workers so using book seven and the right layout for the area is really really key to making sure that workers stay safe one of the other really key things about book seven and when we're setting up along the roadside is to ensure that we follow a standard so that every single project looks the same for motorists traveling through it. We want it to be obvious what we expect of the vehicles and the motorists as they're coming through. And this is a real key thing to keeping our workers safe because if motorists are confused or the work zone is not set up properly, they're likely to make mistakes and thus endanger the workers. Thank you very much for listening to our talk. Please visit our website at www.ihsa.ca and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more safety talks.